So do buyers pay realtors? Well, let's talk about that right now. All right, so this answer may be a little confusing. So do you directly pay a real estate agent at closing? No, but in the long run, do you? Yes, and I'll explain a little more detail in a second. But right now, just understand that when a, when a seller agrees to hire a real estate professional, they agree to pay out a commission. And that commission, if another real estate brokerage is involved, gets split between the buying brokerage and the listing brokerage. So as a buyer, you're like, okay, so I don't pay a commission. Where there's a couple of times where you actually do. See, some brokerages and some of my colleagues charge a processing fee or a, a transaction fee. And honestly, I just, it's really a bonus. There's no real need to, for it in my opinion. I know some of my colleagues may be upset, but I feel like as a buyer, you're already paying for a down payment. You're already paying for closing costs. You have the appraisal, the inspection, the HOA application. And why should I add on additional fee for you to pay? I mean, that's just my opinion. And I also feel like I should really be giving you a bonus because you could have hired someone else to represent you as a real estate professional, right? But you hired me, so I'm not gonna punish you for doing so. That is just my opinion. Now there is, a time when as a buyer you do pay a commission see sometimes you see these listings on the internet they're really really super cheap and they're usually cash only or requiring a heavy down payment and that's because they're usually these auction foreclosures and the price reflects the amount of work that's needed and on top of that they won't pay a commission so the buyers have to pony up those commissions as well so those are one of the rare instances that are very few and far between you don't see them too often anymore you saw them a lot when um, the recession was at its bottom okay so i said earlier that buyers don't technically pay commissions but they sort of do so let me explain what i mean here all right so let's just say that susie the seller bought her home in 1990 for a hundred thousand dollars now she wants to sell it for three hundred thousand dollars See, the extra $200,000 she didn't really earn. She didn't go to work and earn it in her paycheck, right? That money came from the equity and the appreciation of the property. So the bank for the buyer, if they're not paying cash, is going to provide the seller with $300,000. That $200,000 will have to be paid off by the buyer eventually, unless they resell it at a higher amount later on. But either way, the seller's not really paying the commission they didn't really that's not money they ever had before that is money that grew in equity so that's how you technically as a buyer you are paying commission kind of sort of so you're probably wondering well maybe i should just go go and try to buy a home without a real estate professional but that wouldn't really matter because you're probably going to pay the same price anyways mostly because people don't think the way of commissions like i just explained it so you might as well go out and hire a hardworking, experienced, full-time, and you know maybe sprinkle on a little charm type of real estate agent who can negotiate really well on your behalf. So there you have it, guys. That is my assessment on buyers, if they pay commissions or not. I hope you found this very useful. And as always, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button somewhere over here. If you're watching this on YouTube, and click on the bell as well to be alerted whenever I make a new uh, video for you. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys soon.